We've all heard the term web scraping, but what the hell is it actually? Massive companies and tiny garage hustlers are here making millions, all by automatically collecting data from websites. In the next five minutes, I'm gonna fill your brain with fun, simple knowledge, so easy even a five-year-old could understand. I'm gonna show you how web scraping works, why it's insanely powerful, and how you can start doing it even if you've never coded a day in your life. This is web scraping explained like never before. Let me ask you this. Do you think Amazon updates its prices manually? No way. They have automated systems constantly scrape competitors, adjusting their prices in real time to stay ahead. That same power is available to you. Scraping is like having insider knowledge because you pull massive amounts of data directly from the internet while everyone else is just guessing. And you don't need to be a tech wizard to do it. In fact, the people making serious money right now, many of them started as complete beginners, just like you. Here's how real people are using scraping right now and why it's so powerful. Imagine having a robot that checks thousands of websites every minute and finds the cheapest prices automatically. Or collecting lists of accounts and trending topics to grow your audience without spending hours scrolling manually. Even small businesses use scraping to track competitors, so they always know what's selling, what's trending, and how to stay one step ahead. Scraping is like having superpowers on the internet. If information is money, scraping is how you print it. Of course, websites aren't dumb. They don't want you scraping their data without permission. If you just run a basic scraper, they'll see all your requests coming from one IP address and shut you down fast. You'll get hit with rate limits, captures, and even full-on IP bans. Scraping without proxies is like trying to rob a bank, but instead of wearing a ski mask, you walk in wearing a t-shirt with your home address printed on the front, and you wave at the security camera before stuffing money in your pockets. And then you wonder why the cops are showing up at your door. So how do the pros get around this? Proxies. Proxies hide your real IP address and let you rotate through thousands of fake ones, making it look like your scraper is just a bunch of normal users browsing the site. Instead of one suspicious computer hammering the site over and over, it looks like a whole crowd of people. People. Without proxies, your scraper is gonna get blocked. With them, you can run bigger, faster, safer scrapes without hitting roadblocks. Now, after we got the proxy sorted, what about the scraper itself? Here's how simple it is to get started with Python. This little script grabs live data from websites and prints it out. Boom! You've officially built your first scraper. The full test code is in the description so you can copy it, play with it, and take your very first step in the deep hole of scraping.